Learning objective C, we're going to express one equation as a function of another and evaluate. Now part A here wants us to find the volume of a cube that has a surface area of 105 square inches. So let's just remember first, what is volume? Volume of a cube is going to be length times width times height. Now surface area just means you're going to come on in here and color the surfaces of this cube. So let's just put S for surface area and think through it. How many surfaces are on a cube? Well, there's going to be six of them. And then how do you find the area of one surface of a cube? Well, if it's a cube, by definition, if a cube is made up of squares, that means it's this side length right here, and that side length's the same. So what I would do is do x times x, or say x squared. Now, since I wrote surface area saying 6 times x squared, let's go back to volume and adjust that, because I was using length times width times height. But if it is a cube, the length, the width, and the height of this cube here is x, x, and x. Therefore, volume, why don't we just write it as this? Volume equals x cubed. Okay, now here's what we know. The volume of the cube, but we know the surface area is 105. So let's take the 105 for surface area and put that in here, and we can find what x is. If we can solve and get x, then we can take the value and put it in here and get the volume. So 105 for surface area and 6x squared. The algebra on here to get x by itself, just divide by 6 first. And then we're going to come on here, we'll have 105 divided by 6 equals x squared. I'm going to come in and take the square root. Now when I take the square root, there are two possible answers because I can put a positive and a negative back into here. But this is a real life object, we can't have a negative x. So in this case, there really is only a plus answer. So I'm and then I could go ahead and simplify this, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep it like that. And let's just write this, that x is equal to the square root of 105 over 6. Now, what I'm going to do is take this value of x that we just found, and we need to take that and put it into here for x so we can find the volume. So let's finish the problem. Volume, therefore, is equal to uh, the square root of 105 over 6, all cubed. Now, to simplify this even further, what I'm going to do is let's uh, match up this radical with the exponent. This radical symbol is just the 1 half power, so I'm going to put volume equals 105 over 6 to the 1 half power, and that's all going to be times by 3. So when we simplify it, it's going to be 105 divided by 6 to the 3 halves power. If we did an approximate answer and typed it in the calculator, it's going to be about 73.21 cubic inches. Now, part B of the problem actually wants us to express the volume as a function of the surface area. So what I'm going to have us do is we need to take the initial volume formula. So let's just take the volume formula and jot that down right here. V equals x cubed. Now, it says here, express the volume of the cube, which is right here. They want it expressed as a function of surface area. So they don't want x in there, which is side length. They want this x not to stand for side length, but to stand for the surface area right here. So if the only other thing we have is this formula on the side, let me jot that right here, that surface area equals 6 times x squared. They want me to replace this x with surface area. How can I do that? Well, we can go in here, take this equation and solve it for x, and then plug it back into there. So what I'm going to do is try to get x by itself over here. I'm going to divide by 6. So that's s over 6 is equal to x squared. And then take the square root like we did before. So what we just found is this. x is equal to the square root of, this is an s, over 6. So we know what x is. So I'm going to take this value and put it right there into x. So when I do that, volume equals, it's now the square root of s over 6, all cubed. Remember, like we did up over here, 
The square root is the fraction 1 half. So I'm going to do 1 half times 3 and just write that as volume equals an s over 6 to the 3 halves power. So this is now a fun the volume equation as a function of surface area. And that's our final answer.